Okay, welcome back everybody. We're game three of this finals between Master and MVAKM. And they're both playing Wolfer, so I'm hearing from Master in the chat that we've got Vesper and Zywin Reband on both sides. And Master wasn't really feeling up to playing Caesar in this kind of high pressure environment. This is the last game of this tournament. They are both qualified, so we're not going to get to see any more from them until the actual championship is uh, coming up not that long from now be probably something like a month away but in the meantime Wolfar ditto it is and this is also in the patch where Wolfar had just been nerfed it is a fairly small nerf it is just a charge time nerf to his tier 2 groove still comes out pretty quickly but um, I think it was just like the kind of like tiny little tweak that Wolfar right. needed he was just doing it a little bit too well uh, we definitely saw a lot of picks and bans on Wolfar. Uh, as is the case, Wolfar are pretty much almost always one of the highest band commanders. Uh, across Wargroove 1 and now Wargroove 2, so we're going to get to see a bit more Wolfar coming out here. And in future tournaments, the band system is changing a bit, so we might get to see more band, band Wolfar, might get to see more matchups with Wolfar, who knows, but... In the meantime, we're going to see this match. We're seeing some nice pressure coming out here from Mastro. Good knock down this village. Dang, I say like a fairly typical opening on this side. And then MVAKM going kind of a more center route with their commander. So what's this wolf are going to do? Okay, nice move there from the harpy that's going to be able to wall against. Oh, there's no anti here on this left hand side. Only wolf are. And this like mage that's like one turn out from really doing anything. So, some nice defensive play coming out here. Now, on this side, Master going for more of a knight defense. We've got two knights. They're going to start being aggressive that's relatively right, soon. Uh, Master's actually going to kind of dive into this. We've seen a lot of early commander deaths here, so is this going to be one of them? Not yet. Mage comes up, knight following behind it. Lots of knights coming out for Mastro. This is a good map for knights. We're seeing two on the side of MVAKM as well. Ooh, that's a crit. And is that going to be a dead harpy? It's a Actually, that's a really awkward kill on a harpy to get. Just because the only flagstone tile is here, you have to go around to the top to pull that off, so... Master probably going to back up with Wolfar and just focus on knocking down villages. Going for the recapture. And yeah, Wolfar is just going to kind of back up. No reason to go too far, too deep. Golem comes out. They're going to be a really nice unit over here. There's nothing... Actually, because Golems can die on mountains now, there's actually like a few tiles that they could die to. So maybe we sit, we'll get to see a golf on a golem, but nothing just yet. An MVAKM. What are they going to go for? I imagine a golem is going to come out. And yeah, a golem comes out on this side. So actually, the whole fight is going to be over on this left hand side of the map. And what that means is actually some of the more interesting stuff is going to happen on this right hand side. Because, oh, as we get to see this open up. The pressure is now on MVAKM to push into their commander and this golem. So, yeah, Master is going to kind of back up a bit and really push with this big force on the right hand side. And all of a sudden, like, you've got, what, two spears and a sword to defend this with? That's not going to last very long, so. Yeah, MVAKM, the, the pressure is on. They have to do something with this left hand side. Otherwise, they're just going to fall behind on economy. And when I say fall behind on economy, they are behind on economy right now, so. Something is going to have to be done. Mastro. Uh, a couple of spears are actually kind of scary. I actually do think you could take the spears with the knights and trade out, like, somewhat okay-ish, but. Master's just like, I don't need to do that. I'm just not going to bother. And, ooh, Commander on River. We did see that earlier. And it was the death of Mastro. Not Mastro, MVAKM, sorry. But 
In this case, ooh, tee off. And what's this gonna do? Bang, bang, bang. Ooh, big hit on the golem, actually. 55% health left. And now MVAKM is taking a bigger portion of the map. So those two spears on the right hand side definitely pushed Master back. And Master is just going to have to kind of go for a mage heal. Okay, that makes sense. You want to heal up your golem. A big gold investment. And Master holding on to tier two. And the longer that is the case, the more value uh, MVAKM is going to get out of their groove. Because your opponent's holding groove, you just want to be able to do your thing, charge up your own groove for the next one. And then there comes a point when you get rid of like lapping your opponent on groove. It's like almost three damage essentially. So, or at least very low cost damage. MVAKM, they're still ahead on the economy. So what's Master gonna do here? We're gonna speak back and forth. Oh, they're gonna start pushing. The sword right up against the golem as well. It's just like, I don't want you to hit my knight for free. Oh, interesting. They're just gonna move the whole army up. And like one golem is gonna contest this right hand side. And I think that's actually quite smart because you just back this up with like some anti-air or no anti-air in this case, actually. You know, there's no air over here, actually. The harpy could go across and threaten, but... I'm not seeing anything just yet. Ooh, Thief is out. I actually really like this, because that's going to get a quick return. And leaves the rest of the army to be able to deal with this golem. That said, golem could attack from the forest, and that means it's not going to take much damage. And you could actually like hit the thief for quite a bit of damage, but no golem's gonna back up. Master is just like, I don't want to be too risky. I'm gonna play this like pretty methodically. I'm just gonna kind of slow push this out. And we are seeing a decent amount of golems, and this is regular headland as opposed to headland to Poland, which has a little bit more economy, which resulted in a lot more golems. And in this case, yeah, you got a couple golems on the side of Mastro, but not really like golem spam. So, okay, free hit there on the golem. Gonna do like some nice chip damage. And yeah, there comes the thief steal. And that thief gets the return, then it suddenly has value. And the AKM, they were ahead on economy, and this is gonna allow them to keep that that way. Ooh, nice damage. Ooh, big knight crit there as well, I think. So. More and more damage coming in here. And yeah, they should be okay. But oh, tier two groove. One space open here. If this sword dies on this tile, I think it's actually lethal. Because all of a sudden, yeah, sword suicide is going to come in. I think you can suicide two sets of swords from a river. But I'm not 100% sure on that. You can definitely suicide one. Okay, we're going to find this out. Is this actually going to be enough? Yep. Oh, that's like a free, what, 28% damage? And then, oh, more and more stuff's going to go through here. Are we going to see this archer go down? Bang, bang, bang. Yep, archers. Oh, no, spear's going to fall. And then the archer. Oh, and then the knight crit to follow up. I think there's a night crit to follow up. More damage here on Wolfar. And yeah, this is gonna be such a big overkill. Oh, like, that's like a 30% overkill, okay. So, huge damage coming in there. And MVA cam. Those tiles here and here are so dangerous to leave your commander next to because you can suicide so many units off of them and once again, we're seeing a... I mean, actually, this wasn't super early as far as the lethal goes, but we are seeing another commander lethal come out. And that has been the story of this set, really. Like, both players moving commanders into positions where they were able to get killed by um, 
In the game two, it was more like, yeah, it was like a fairly obvious kill, but in this one, it was like, game one and game three, it was very much like, we're going to suicide a bunch of units in, and then get a whole bunch of uh, lethal off of that, lethal opportunity from that, because, you know, you can get, what was it, 28% damage off of just throwing two swords into your commander, it didn't take up sides. So yeah, really nicely done there. Master is going to take the set. That is going to put them in ninth seed for the main event with MVAKM coming in 10th. And yeah, it was uh, nicely played. So yeah, well done. Master is going to go through and we're going to see both of these players in the championships, which I'm looking forward to.